So what you will have is, is see, this is right now how the power plants are being run. You know, it's at night, nobody uses lights and nobody uses computers. During the day, particularly in the summertime, air conditioning on, so we have these peaks. So what we would do is, is we were filling up the valley right. so that we would never go beyond this, right. this peak. But in order to do this, you have to sequence this, you have to orchestrate this. And so we're doing this based on price. Mm -hmm. So this guy uh, downloads prices and then devises a, um, a charging schedule that minimizes the cost for you and me as a consumer. That's great. And um, if everybody does this... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That'll come up a little bit. That, right, well, if everybody does it, what happens is, is if you would create another peak at night, all of a sudden the prices go up, this thing would then shut down. Oh, so it's okay. self-regulating. Right. Right. So then it would basically wait until the prices come back down, and then it would resume. We're envisioning that uh, pricing um, from the grid operator uh, will be communicated uh, to this controller there and that based on the pricing information, decisions are being made to delay the charging or to charge. Customer preference, of course, plays a role. We're envisioning that there is customer preference that can be expressed uh, in terms of when the customer would like to have the vehicle fully charged. Uh, so based on pricing and the preference when the vehicle is to be charged, um, the charger will, the controller will then develop a a plan or a schedule for charging. We're taking the um, alternate current power supply from the outlet on the wall uh, to diagnose um, voltage and uh, current for uh, patterns that are indicative of grid stress. So once we diagnose this, the internal controller will then stop or reduce the charging uh, to relieve the load and t uh, to uh, uh, mitigate any uh, grid stress that uh, uh, we may encounter in the grid.